Hey everybody, for this tutorial we are going to make a jack-o'-lantern using the pumpkin that we made in our last tutorial. All you need are three colors of Papa's clay, orange, olive green, and warm yellow. If you want bonus points for your creation, you can add an LED like I did. I used a tea candle LED light and I ripped it apart and soldered it back together and dropped it in this pumpkin. First step is to draw a jack-o'-lantern face on your pumpkin. I'm making a very simple one with triangle eyes and just some teeth cut out. Then very carefully start cutting away the face. Spend a lot of extra time to make sure you don't cut yourself and that your fingers are always out of the way in case your knife slips. Cutting baked polymer clay can be difficult based upon how thick your sculpture is. Then cut off the top of your pumpkin and make sure you give yourself enough space so that you can drop your LED light in. Once you remove the top, take some pliers and start removing all the foil that you added originally. I recommend that you do this step over a trash can because it gets pretty messy. Like I said earlier, I use the LED from a tea candle light because it has a little flickering effect and it also has a built-in resistor. I'm going to solder it to a fancy coin cell battery holder that I have. And I'm no electrical expert or good at soldering, so I'm going to solder this thing to death to make sure it holds together and that all the wires have solid connections to each other. And now my jack-o'-lantern lights up. The last step is to water down a bit of dark brown acrylic paint. I watered mine down a lot, and then apply a layer of the wash over your pumpkin doing one section at a time. Paint a section, then use a paper towel to gently remove the excess paint. This will aid your pumpkin and also allow for the indentations and recesses in your pumpkin to get more color. If you want to get some Papa's Clay or the other tools that I use in this video, check out the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more polymer clay tutorials.